I'm super excited today. More cowbell. <laughs> right on. Her voice could punch you in the face. I love this one. Jive turkey. Who are you calling jive turkey? You. Hi guys, this is Played Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And we had a suggestion from Miko in the comments for an apocalyptica. And I've been looking like, for another one of theirs to do. I like apocalyptica. I know you do. We both really do, actually. Yep. We're huge cello fans. Mm -hmm. So uh, they got this times four. That's right. Four, right? Yeah. So this one's called Bittersweet featuring Lori Ilonen and Ville Valo. If I said that correctly, we'll see. We'll see. Somebody can help us. <laughs> and I've never heard of either of them. No. Some of the people they've worked with uh, in the past we've heard of, like Nina Hagen and yep. so yep. on. But uh, these, these are new to me. Nope. Well, yes, it's true. But once you throw in cellos, it's really hard to go wrong. Right. We have yeah. faith. Let's do it. He looks familiar. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so the gent with the lower voice, I'm not sure which one is which, to be honest, mm -hmm. but he looks really familiar to me. But also, is it just me? Or in the interplay between their two voices, did he sound a little like a cello? Yeah, absolutely. It's it was voice. weird, right? Yeah. I kept thinking... 
His voice is so low and so full in sound that it, it sounds like the sound you could make with a cello. Mm -hmm. That's very cool, it actually. Really was. And, and I know it's a really unusual and probably unique to me <laughs> feeling, but the way their voice is interplayed in a couple of spots reminded me of that duet Morrissey did with Susie Sue. Oh my God, I Do know you, exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. It's not unique to you, actually. All right. that's, uh, I wouldn't have thought of it, but as soon as you said it, I thought, oh, that's absolutely right. Yes, I agree. Okay, I well, thought maybe was I was just weird. song again? Interlude. Yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear exactly. You know what I think it might have been? The pitches they chose, mm -hmm. right? The, and the way that they weave together, right? Yeah, and, and I think, no, this is a first listen. I may be misremembering. Mm-hmm. Once in a while, they didn't come in quite at the same time, which is went on quite a bit in interlude. Yep, yep, too, yep. right. I, or they're slightly staggered. I see exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I absolutely agree. Anyway, give me that feel a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I never thought of it, but as soon as you said it, he's absolutely right. Yeah, I do say it. It happens. <laughs> it was really good, though. That I mean, in that one, the cellos weren't front and center. Like they no, often are. They, they weren't flying and doing all kinds of cool acrobatics and everything, but they were they were certainly setting the mood, weren't they? Oh, I was there for N sure. Nothing sets yeah. a mood like a cello. It really is it's true. I really liked how different their voices were. They played mm -hmm. very well together because mm -hmm. of that, I think. Yeah. So good suggestion. Thank you for that. Hopefully you all enjoyed that too. I know you're gonna want to say play it again. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You can find us on Twitter. We are at Play It Again MG. And thanks for coming out, guys.